Yeah, and I want to go to the right. And I'll just kind of just run right out from the band when you're like, really being like, black. Do you want to come over to my place, play Mario Kart? Uh, I have to go meet my future stepbrother. He just got out of rehab. Try to be nice. Is that him? He's hot. Oh, I know. That's shoddy. That's his sponsor. So that's not Luke? No, there's Luke. Damn. Junkies are supposed to be skinny. So, Erica, you must be psyched to have an older brother type in the house. Totally psyched. You get to have a complete stranger living in my home. No offense, buddy. Yeah. Are you okay? I really want to punch you in the face right now. I just don't want to ruin those lip injections that daddy gave you. At least my daddy is not in jail. Oh. Luke's a complicated little guy. He accused a teacher of <clears throat> fondling him. Thinks he saw him around town. Shaking down a child molester is our moral obligation. Nobody's going anywhere until we see this guy molest oh. somebody. I don't think he will. He's like a pro. That's what you get like a subterranean dungeon for. What? Yeah. Totally. So when you were writing this movie, did you have an Erica in your life? I didn't. I read the original draft and this, uh, written by this brilliant writer named Alex McCauley, and there, I'd never seen a character like this in a movie before. And I'd never known an Erica, but I myself made a lot of questionable decisions in high school and rode my bike around a lot and was let go from a few schools. And I related a lot with her rebellious spirit in the sense that she always wanted to do good. She just sort of went about it, maybe not the right way. So what's the plan? What if we break in and tie him up? Yeah, dom him, like he's our little bitch. Surprise! <laughs> I'm not stalking you or anything. As you can tell, I have like major daddy issues. I had a very confronting moment when my sister saw this movie after a bunch of other people had seen it and mm -hmm. told me, what a crazy, insane character. She's out of her mind, you know, wow. And my sister saw it and was like, this is the closest um, character you've ever played to yourself. And I was like, what do you mean? And I didn't know what it meant, and I still don't. But um, I don't know if I know an, I don't know if I know an Erica. I know, no, I don't know if I know an Erica. I don't think I'm an Erica. Do you no, think I'm an not, Erica? No, you're not, but I think your energy and your restless spirit is very much in her DNA. Diplomatic response. Well, no, if you I, don't know her, do you, would you be friends with her? I would try to be. She's somebody who so, is so afraid of abandonment. I think she tries to ruin relationships before they can ever attempt at hurt, right. e ever even come close to hurting her, which is such a fragile and delicate balance to have with a friend. It's so tricky and can be manipulative and can be scary and it can be heartbreaking. And I think, especially in, through this journey in, her, in the movie, she's just trying to have some semblance of control and, um, and floundering and um, losing her footing, so. I think by the end of the movie, she's a better candidate to have friends once she's kind of regained her innocence and learned to accept love and intimacy in her life. Have any, either of you did a bad thing for a good reason? That's Ta beyond the statute of limitations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, and I can't really think of specifics, but I, I, I think something we do as kids is we take on these causes and make it sort of all about us. And really what we're doing is sort of masking our intense anxiety and fear of um, you know, being vulnerable or seen, and um, it's something that I, I really loved about this movie, Margaret, this Kenneth Lonergan movie, Margaret, which we're also doing a press junket for. Um, but I just loved, I, I, it's something that we do, and it's um, just, it feels very human to me. And your artistic skills in this movie, did you, did you were you always an artist? Oh, you mean <laughs> the dick pics? I have. The dick pics? Yes. Uh, hmm, I'm more of like a um, watercolor girl, so Sharpie oh is not it's... my format, my medium. But uh, I drew a few of them. Yeah, you did a lot. Yeah, I drew a few of them. It was very important that I was very involved in the creative process of that of that book. Okay, you were so very involved in the creative process of the whole thing. Well, when does this when does this movie come out? And Friday. When tell you Friday. March sixteenth. Yeah. We are really excited. And yeah. We hope people go see it. We yes. love the movie and. We're grateful to Rough House and Orchard and Max and you and this bowling alley. Yeah, this and is actually my a coffee. surprise party to express our gratitude for you. Yes, well, well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so much for having. We love you. Thanks for coming thank aboard. You. Exactly. Next time I'll get you to draw for me. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. <gasps> what just happened? We're vigilantes. Cheers. Are you okay? No, I'm 
obviously not okay. Where are you guys going? To go buy some crack? You want to throw it down? It's okay. They're not buying drugs, Bob. Just let them in. Oh, I get the joke. Oh, I'm going to go out for the band when we like. We need to be in there. We need to be in there.